Hi everyone, it's Monique at Butterbee Scraps and I just wanted to show you the latest mini album that I created. I actually purchased Laura Dennison's uh, special delivery pattern to create this album. Um, I love the paper line that she used so much that I, that I decided that I was going to use it as well. It's Webster's Pages Lullaby Lane. Um, however, if you've ever seen her album, you can see right away mine looks very different. She made hers look like a little baby diaper bag. Um, I decided just to make mine look like a standard mini. Um, so there's a few changes like that throughout. I also wanted to customize mine a little bit more um, just to give the parents of the baby a little bit of guidance as to what to put in here. So anyway, I, I named mine Baby Steps. I actually used the Tim Holtz Mini Baroque die uh, to create this frame and did the uh, crackle paint effect on it. Lots of flowers and butterflies you'll see uh, are in this album. I also made this little charm and it's got <laughs> these cute little baby buggy a little teddy bear and a little soother on it as well as some beads so um, I just created that. For the binding I used um, I actually found this um, cat scratching post at the dollar store and it had this kind of burlapy material on it so I bought it for the material and cut it off and used that for the binding and then um, just weaved some ribbon in between made my own little stick pin there and I used one of these um, leather straps for the binding. I think they're made by by Zutter. Um, the back of the album is pretty plain. Um, I like leaving the back of my albums pretty plain because I like them to be able to sit flat on the on a table without you know destroying any embellishments that I may have put on the back. So when you open it up, the first thing that I did that was different than Laura's was um, I created this little book, baby book that you can take it out. And it says, A Note to Baby. And I left a lot of blank pages. I actually stitched this book together using the sewing machine. And I've got some stamping here to decorate the cover. I left a lot of bank blank pages for some standard 4x6 uh, photos and then I made these journaling pages and you know I created these lines, I have this tiny little stamp that's got like six lines on it that's like half the width of this page so I do have a stamp of jig and I mean I wasn't using it perfectly and at first I was a little disappointed because I didn't line up the lines but in the end, I'm quite happy how vintage it looks. looks a little bit sloppy. Um, I've been embracing the imperfections in my work and, and really liking how they turn out, actually. So now anyway, i got a page here, Mom's thoughts and feelings about being pregnant. I've got Dad's experience of Mom's pregnancy. And I've also got Mom and Dad's hopes and dreams for baby. So there's a lot of pages in here where you can add some extra pictures. I used a lot of um, I Am Roses flowers as well. little charm here. And on this page I thought this would just be a nice uh, page for a picture of mom and dad. So if you turn the page um, you'll recognize the tags from Laura's album and I liked how she put little quotes on each page so I did that. This one is, says, Wonder of Wonders, so soft, sweet, and small. And then if you pull the tag out, I put my first pictures. So I thought this would be a good place to put, like, ultrasound pictures or something like that. Over here, um, I've got the little onesie. And um, you'll also notice that I only have six pages instead of eight, like Laura had, but... And then inside I've got this little tag that says My Vital Statistics, so it's got the name, date, time, place, height, and weight of baby. Next page says Rosebud Lips and Smiling Eyes, Diaper Pins and Lullabies. 
Then when you pull this tag out, it um, says all about my family. So you could put um, mom and dad's name and grandparents' names and a little mat, picture mat on the back. Over here is the crib with three tags and I use the same designs as on Laura's tags. And they, all these designs are in the pattern as well. Here I wanted to use a real piece of material so actually <laughs> this took me an incredible amount of time. It's a piece of cotton and I actually frayed a couple inches of the end and then used my crochet hook to tie all these tiny little knots around the edge. So, I know I'm a little crazy sometimes. Next page says 10 tiny fingers, 10 tiny toes, rosy pink cheeks, and a little button nose. And actually if you pull out the tag, it says 10 tiny fingers, so you could put a little handprint there, and 10 tiny toes, and you could put the footprint there. Baby bottle, and this tag I just left blank. And you'll notice also on all the tags here that I did a baby face on both sides. And also when I drew the baby face on with black uh, Sharpie, I went over it with, I have an embossing pen. So I went over it with embossing pen and put clear embossing powder over it. And I really like it adds a little bit more dimension to that. Next page says, a baby has a special way of adding joy in every single day. And this is where I started just creating tags. This is for when baby is one month old. And Laura's little peekaboo hands. I love these. They look so cute. Next page says, a baby is cuddles and tickles on toes, the sweet scent of powder, and a kiss on the nose. And this tag just says three months. So the last three pages are one, three, and six months. Here's the bathtub, and I actually cut this little baby out of my Cricut. I thought he was so cute. I stuck him in there. And the last page says a new baby is like the beginning of all things, wonder, hope, a dream of possibilities. And then in the back here I added another little book and it says Baby's Book of World Records. So if you open it up, uh, I've got a photo mat in there but it also has a list of babies first. So bath, smile, laugh, you know. And then baby's foods, the first cereal, first fruit, favorites, and then I also created this two-page spread of doctor's visits, so you can put the date, age, weight, and the height of baby. So, and in every album I stamp with my, my own personalized stamp, and I sign and date it. So that's it, and actually this binding was a little bit tricky, <laughs> because, you know, when you put the holes on the front and back cover, when you close it, the ribbon is loose and all the pages kind of fall out. So I actually added um, some extra holes right in the back here and I used an elastics to hold them in and the ribbon just hides the elastics. Anyway, it was tricky. I made a lot of mistakes in this album, um, but I think it all turned out okay. So anyway, I hope you guys like the album. Let me know what you think. Um, also, just a note, I wanted to let you guys know I have not forgotten about the pattern for the vintage uh, camera mini album. I have it written, I just want to build another one so that I can take pictures and, and include a lot of pictures so that it's, so that the instructions are easy to follow. So, um, unfortunately life's kind of gotten in the way lately. Um, so I just wanted to finish this project before finishing the pattern. So the next video you see should be an announcement of my pattern, but I have no guarantees as to when it'll be done. So sorry guys, I just want to say thank you all for your patience. Let you know I haven't forgotten about it and I am working towards getting that done. So anyway, hope you guys like the album. 
Have a great night. Bye-bye.